all right guys um you remember the name of this it's an txt screen results so you saw on our previous session this minus this it gives you that right it's, it's a very good answer we're gonna do a very short session how to make sure that you display this here and make sure that these people don't see it right let's do it let's get straight to it um, when you are here always click on anything you can click on this it's gonna take you here in case this is disappeared or something always save your stuff first thing you want to make sure that you want to put last there space Why do you put a plus? It's because whatever that has been written before, you want it to be written and this to display. Right? So now, copy this. And is whenever 10 minus is click, go and display plus. Yes. And then come here. And let's change this one thing. Okay. Beautiful. And then what I do? I do this. If the only thing I don't see a glass here. Another thing that you want is that when one is clicked, it must go and display that side to TXT screen. When the numbers are clicked, you want them to display there. So what you can sort of do in this and this there, you want to do the same for this one. Say, um, copy this. Do the same for this guy. This there. See, it's not properly aligned, but it doesn't affect the code. And it has to do. Um, you want to do the same for this. So what it means is that um, whenever whatever that was displaying on the Xbox is now going to display down there, right? for the older numbers but I'm doing right all understand we have to take this we need to first focus on the main step by step first you need to see if you do the first numbers the batch of numbers that need to be added with the second batch of numbers does it show on our display screen yes or no Remember now we're using one screen, not using two screens to do an add and a multiply. But we are not removing this. Don't make a mistake. We are not removing this. We are still using this because this is what your computer is using. It has some storage down there. Even on the hardware, there's some storage when they program. There's a memory. This acts as our memory, right? Okay, cool. Let's get straight to it. Um, you have to rebuild. Once the button can click here, if it is open, let's come here. Um, Alright, see so after refreshing, it says, Hi, use me, answer is 700. Okay, we are not sure about that of um, how well will this thing go with this Hi, use me. Maybe it's time to remove the Hi, use me. <laughs> it might be time. Okay. Um, what do you want to do? I'd like to do. Um, a five um, plus. You see, the high use me is still there. Plus five, right? Equals to ten. Answer is ten. 
but we don't want this guy anymore. <laughs> we don't want the guy anymore. We, we are cool, we are cool, we are cool with this one. So 5 plus 5, answer is 10. This looks very beautiful, guys. We just need to remove this. How do you remove this? Tell me. Come here, and then where? Here it is. You can either click here, and just remove it here. Make sure you don't remove this, these things there. Or either way, you can come and remove it here. Okay. Because now it's this the conclusions. to a three minus one yeah three minus one is equal to and size two wow so beautiful as you can see we'd like to display this hello um, not here so I'd like to display this answer is equals to 2 down here. Let me put this to a question. So first let's fix that. So if you put this waiting below, we just need to do this. And play it on the Google Chrome. So everyone loves the 100, so you can test this with 100. 0. 0. You see, we can now hide all these things. The calculator works. Perfect. What do you want to do? I'd like to do a divide. Maybe our divide is not working. Maybe, maybe, maybe we still need to check something. Divide by 10 equals answer is equals to 10. 10 goes 100, 10 times 200. Okay. Now you ask yourself, what gift? We have been with you the whole session. Why don't you remove this? We now have a calculate. Well, in the next session, we're going to talk about how to fix it when you click here and then it does other things. You know, when you continue clicking here, continuously, how do you block this? How did these great guys that have become billionaires block this to not? Um, show here whenever you click it again because now you've clicked there then you click here look what happened it's gonna do something else and blah 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 you don't want that right you click equals to then it doesn't know what to, what it should do you see so you don't want that so we are gonna we wanna show you how to do that right so that it sort of clears here or what or it tells you or what so that it doesn't continue maybe to to start a different calculation so that it clears and then direct to start here right you want to remove this let's do it in a second we're going to use a style okay, now that you have a calculator you can calculate and stuff so let's come here you do have a style here create a new style um, call hide me right hide me Display. This is nice because now you see the things that are being used. Can see them. Um, where is our text boxes? This is our text boxes, guys. I believe so, but let's be sure. Start with this. What do you do? How do we put a style? This CSS. Wait for all these three buttons, right? Once you're done, always try to save. Always try to save. Wow. Wow. I've never seen such an amazing thing like this. Thank you, guys. See you on the next tutorial where we will fix calculator errors, where it doesn't repeat things that it shouldn't repeat and all that. Thank you. Fun to calc switching out with gift session. Thank you.